Hey guys, this is uh, Jackie M from Masters of Asian Cuisine. How are you doing? Uh, we are here for the first of our two broadcasts today under the Light Bite series. So uh, welcome to everyone. I've got uh, the slants is already saying hello. Make sure you guys say hello. Let us know where you're watching from and uh, hit us up with any question during this session. Today we are going to be having uh, Cynthia, Cynthia Santa Maria, who's based in Malaysia. She's a specialist Eurasian cuisine chef, um, and she's going to show us a unique Eurasian Can snack. you make my screen bigger? Heard of, no. But let me just quickly play a quick clip from Tourism Malaysia. We'll come back and join Cynthia in about 30 seconds. Asia. Hey guys, Jackie M again. Uh, thanks again for joining us. We're just uh, giving Cynthia a couple more seconds to get ready. She's trying to reorganize her layout because we were having some technical issues behind the scenes. But don't forget, right after this session, where Cynthia is going to be making the uh, Portuguese square called uh, Portugal. I've never heard of it. I'm going to ask her about it in a little bit. Right after her, we're going to have Paul and Liam from South Africa who are going to be making a uh, Vietnamese uh, uh, chicken bun me I think it's bun me I'm not sure I, I, I know nothing about Vietnamese food sorry I'm very very Malaysian but again guys uh, say hello let us know where you're watching from hit us up with any questions if you want the recipes for these two sessions and for all our sessions make sure you sign up at malaysianchefs.com slash join today okay let's uh, add Cynthia to the stream let's see how she's going hey Brad how you doing good to see you okay let me just have a look Okay, how you doing, Cynthia? Okay, let me just... Just hang on a minute. Connected, right? Yeah. Okay, guys, like I said, we're just waiting for Cynthia to get ready. Let me just... Um, Okay, I, I've got her muted. But thanks again so much for joining us. Uh, good to see Brad from my uh, Twitch days. <laughs> I, I, I stream to Twitch ad hoc nowadays but because of my focus on this Masters of Malaysian Cuisine project I've been running. Uh, for those of you who haven't actually caught any of our most recent series with Street Food Journeys, make sure you go back and watch them, okay? I, uh, Paul and I, Paul, my co-founder of MOMC, and I worked very hard across eight weeks to produce a series consisting of Malaysian food and travel without being able to leave our respective countries uh, because of the whole travel lockdown and COVID situation sort of thing. It's not, it's not going on. Creative and how we... Hey, Karen, how you doing? Good to see you. Uh, for those of you who are just joining us, like I said, we have Cynthia Santabaki, who is a Eurasian cuisine expert, and she's going to be showing us how to make a cuisine, uh, a, a, a Portuguese Eurasian kue called Portugal. I don't know if anyone's ever actually heard of it. Let me know if you have. Uh, I hadn't. I had to Google what Portugal means. Uh, it looks very interesting. But uh, let's have a look and see how Cynthia is going. Uh, can you hear us, Cynthia? Is it okay? No. Can you hear us, Cynthia? You're, you're just uh, upside. You're, you're just kind of like 90 degrees at the moment. You just need to kind of reposition your phone. Okay, she's gone, gone out and come back in. All right, again, guys, thanks again to Cynthia sideways. Yes, she is. Um, There's the beauty of live streaming. We are always, uh, you can expect the unexpected. Um, yeah, for those of you, like I said, who didn't catch our Street Food Journey series, make sure you check them out. You can find them, uh, probably easiest to find them at, uh, at facebook.com slash Jackie M Food and look under the videos tab, all right? I actually created a playlist for you. All the eight episodes are there and we are just waiting for final um, uh, 
final word from Tourism Malaysia Australia because this whole series was sponsored by Tourism Malaysia Australia. Go Australia. <laughs> Go Tourism <Malaysia> Australia. <laughs> um, but we're waiting for final confirmation from them about the second series, okay, which should be coming through very, very soon. So we're very excited about being able to continue with our street food journeys. Um, yeah, hey, Debbie, how are you doing? Good to see you. <laughs> Debbie from Subang Jaya. And like I said, we're just waiting for Cynthia to get organized here. Thanks, everyone, for your patience. Hit us up with any questions about Portugal. I've never heard of it. If anyone else has heard of Portugal, or have tried it or actually made it, let us know. I don't know if Cynthia's version is the 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 the, the you know the most commonly known version or whether she's got her own twist to it. I'm very, very curious to find out uh, how it looks and what it tastes like and, and all that as well. Can you hear us, Cynthia? Okay, you are muted at the moment. Okay, so here we go. Can you hear us? No, I can't. <laughs> so she's not connected to your phone at all. Yeah. Still sideways. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm pretty sure she knows. She just she's trying to fix the audio at the moment. Um, Paul, can I get you to actually call Cynthia on WhatsApp and see if you can sort it out with her? Okay, with the just, phone? just give me her number <laughs> and I'll do it. Um, I think you might have it on. Okay, is it in the group? I oh, know. Don't worry. If it's in the group, I'll phone. Let's see what I can do. Okay. Hey, Nasreen, good to see you. How are you? Okay. Cool. So well, I'm going to get Paul, our uh, my my business partner and our tech guy, to deal with Cynthia. But again, thanks everyone for tuning in. Thanks for your patience. Uh, let me know if you've ever heard of Putugal. P U T U G A L. I had never heard of it. Um, but that's what Cynthia is going to be showing us how to make very, very shortly once she's back online. Okay, let's have a look. Okay. Get here, please. Can you hear us? Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay, great. There you go. Okay, cool. Fantastic. All right. Whew. All right. It's hot, hot. Okay. Okay, can you see me? Uh, we can see your torso. <laughs> um, okay. you, can see? you can see my 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 my, my <laughs> belly. <laughs> okay, how about um, now? Uh, because uh, your your head is chopped off, but if my you head is chopped off. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how about so now? Far? Yeah, now it's a little bit more. Okay, perfect. perfect. Good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. How are you, okay. Cynthia? Fantastic. <laughs> I'm good, thank you, Jackie. All right, tell us about Portugal. Oops, she will ask her again. <laughs> yeah, Paul says he's binging with the <laughs> Hey, Evelyn, good to see you. How have you been? <laughs> uh, we've got a bunch of people saying hello. Thank you, everyone, for your patience. Uh, so I'm just going to uh, splash them on the screen now. That's Lance, Brad. How you doing, Brad? And we have uh, Karen. <laughs> Good to see you, Karen. All right. Okay. We have Debbie, our MOMC chef, our MOMC Nyonya expert. Ah. Is, uh, in the house. Nazreen from Cape Town is in the house. And Victoria is in the house. Karen Hoon Santa Maria uh, is in the house. And we have Adeline Chow. How you doing? Okay. All right, go on, tell us, what are you making? Okay, today's, uh, it's, um, uh, it's a Portuguese kueh, some, some sort like a, a nyonya or peranakan kueh. And um, it is basically a very simple dish where it only requires three ingredients. Tapioca, yeah, uh -huh. coconut milk, okay, right, and sugar, that's it. Okay. Okay, just so do you bake it or do you um, steam? Do you, do you steam it? Okay. Yeah, we okay. steam it. Yeah, here. Yeah. Right? right? Right. Cool. So let me, let, me, let me pull myself out of the out of camera view so that people can just see what you're doing, but you can still hear me, okay? Let's go okay. for it. 
All right. So you'll be able to watch, yeah? Okay, yes. great. So we'll, we'll start off with um, the tapioca. We need about one kg of tapioca here. And what you do is it's either you can choose to grate the tapioca, but if you are like me, who's very lazy, um, I just blend it, right? I'm I sure. blend it. Yeah, I blend it. And what we do is we strain all the juices from uh, the blended um, portion and it will look something like this. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Right? Okay. Here so can buy it pre pre minced like this, you know, in the freezer section. So I might just do that. Oh yeah, yeah. You, you you can do that as well. Yeah. So what we'll do next is we'll pour half a cup of coconut milk into this. How much right? tapioca is there again? Sorry? How much tapioca are you using again? One kilogram, one kg of tapioca. Okay, gotcha. Sure. Okay, one, one kg of tapioca, you either grate it or uh, blend it in the processor and um, strain all the juices away. And once that's done, you just mix it half a uh, cup of uh, thick coconut milk, yeah? Thick coconut milk. Right. You can, you can buy the, you know, the, the ones in the box, uh, half a cup of it. Yeah. And then you put in about a third, uh, one, a third cup of sugar okay. inside, right? Okay. Is that raw sugar you're using there? Whoops. What happened there? <laughs> we just lost her. <laughs> now I was just getting into it. Hopefully she'll come back to us soon. <laughs> uh, this is with the beauty of internet, with the uh, internet connections. But uh, we've, we've had some issues with Cynthia all, all afternoon, so hopefully she'll come back to us quickly. Um, I'm not sure if, let me just quick, I'm not sure if she realizes she's actually dropped out. Does that mean have, okay, here we go, she's back now. Let's add her back in. Okay. okay. Um, yeah. As I was saying, you put in the sugar, a yep. third, one third cup of uh, sugar inside here, and you mix it really well. Okay. Once it's all mixed already, um, you know bunga talang, talang, bunga talang. Is it bunga talang? Yeah, 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 yeah. The blue pea flower. Yeah. 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 yeah sure. The blue leaf flower. So I've got this one all dried up already, right? Okay. And I just mix it with some. Hot water, okay. yeah, just to get the blue. Okay. Right. So, cool. what we'll do next is um, there's two bowls. We have to um, separate it out into two equal uh, sections. Okay. So that you have yeah. two colors. Yeah. Does it matter what type of sugar you use? Because no, it would... doesn't matter. It's it's okay. totally up to you. For me, I'm okay. using brown sugar because um, we are just so used to brown sugar in the house here. Yeah? All right. Okay. Right? Oh. Right. It's more like a tapioca cake with, um, in between, there's banana, slice, slices of banana. Okay. Okay. Sure, sure. What sort of banana are you using? Uh, you can use any banana as long as it's ripe. Okay. Right. I, I have no idea what banana is this, but it's ripe. <laughs> 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 I just I just went to the food store and I saw ripe bananas and I just took it. <laughs> right. Okay. In um in um in one bowl you just put in um one teaspoon or two depending on how blue you want your um color how how blue you want the color to be. Okay. I I'm gonna and give a quick out to my friend actually well since you're using blue flower extract right what they call uh, bunga telang uh, I've got over here for those of you who are watching like who are in who are, I'm a Malaysian have trouble getting a hold of the blue flower extract right I've got a friend who sells this this is a, a blue butterfly powder and it's the right. like, in its pure form and she sends out everywhere so if you look up mybluetea.com.au uh, you can order it from her website, and it's just a little satisfying, so it won't cost much to ship. So keep an eye out for it. But and uh, yeah, we have um, Chef Joe Johari Edwards from Master Chef Malaysia tuning in. All right, cool. Anyway, yeah, sorry to disrupt you. Keep going, uh, Cynthia. It's fine, no worries. Basically, it's done already. So what we do, what the next step is, 
I'm, I'm using a very small um, container here, right? Okay. And um, I've already cut out some banana leaves. Okay. Right? To put it as a base, right? And just line it with the banana leaves because it also gives out a very nice fragrance to it, yeah? Cool. Oh, we have Salsa Villa from the Netherlands saying hello. Hey, Salsa Villa. Oh, she's got the most gorgeous little boy, and he was on camera with one of our episodes of Street Food Journeys. He was the highlight of the show. Okay, we've lost her again. <laughs> Uh, thanks again, everyone, for your patience. It's going to be one of those episodes. So hopefully Cynthia will uh, join us again uh, in no time. But in the meantime, let me just type in the URL of this uh, of our sign up so that you can get a hold of our recipes. Okay, https://joinchefs.com/join today is where you sign up to get a hold of our uh, all our recipes. Okay, you're back. Okay, and then I've got some pandan leaves. Yeah, okay. right. So, just put it at the base. Uh huh. Right. Okay. So we start off with um, the uncolored portion. Okay. And you just lay it down. Sure. Yeah. Just press it down here. Let me just do this, and then I will show you later. Cool. You. You hardly find this in um, in a lot of households right now. I mean, it used to be very popular, but I'm very <laughs> sure if you go to um, Malacca to the settlement, um, you have this. As you you have, I mean, everyone does it there. You know. Okay, I have never yeah. heard of it. It's basically a tapioca cake, and um, you can reduce your sugar if you think that it's too sweet. But you know, we love our sugar, so. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love, I love, I love the way Malaysians use sugar. I, I have to, every time I read an American cake recipe, I'm like, oh my goodness, that is too much sugar. But Malaysian sugar levels are just right for me, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and then you put the next color, the blue. Okay. It. Does the color get stronger after you cook? Yes. It? After, really? after after it's nice and steam, it gets a little bit darker. Got right. It. And then, what you do next is, you take your banana. Okay. Peel them up and you just slice it, yeah? Sure. And put it in between. Cool. It doesn't really matter how thick or thin you want your bananas to be. It's totally up to you. But okay. make sure that it's just spread out nicely and evenly. Sure. All over. Okay. I think that's about enough. And then just one banana. So, so can you use other things apart from banana? Like if you don't, if you don't really care for banana, can you put can you put durian in it? Does anyone? Do um, that? I I I have no idea. I'm, I suppose you can try, but this but the original recipe is with bananas. Okay. <laughs> right, but I suppose you can always try different different kinds of fruits. Sure. Okay. Yeah. So. Spread it out nicely like this. You can put mm -hmm. more if you like bananas. Yeah. Can you see that, Jackie? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Perfectly. Okay. And then you carry on with the, um, you know, alternate um, base, uh, alternate colors. Okay. Right. And then the final one is always the blue. Okay. Sure. Right. Okay, and that's it. Okay, sure. Right? And what, let me just turn this on. Okay. And then you just uh, steam it. Okay. Right? I'm going to put another piece of banana leaf over so that the, um, uh, the vapor from the steam does not, um, you know, go in. Sure. Right? Okay. And then you just steam it for about 20 minutes or half an hour. 
Okay. And that's it. Okay, sounds easy enough. And that's it. So, on the side, I have um, some more sugar here, right? Okay. And um, some coconut, young grated coconut. Okay. Right? And you mix this in the sugar. All right. Right? You just mix it in the sugar and you wait for this, uh, wait for the, um, the quay to um, be ready to be cooked. And what you do when it's done, you have to let it cool and rest to set for about an hour because when it's warm, it's very difficult to cut and it will not firm up, okay. right? Sure, it will not sure. firm up. So once it's all firmed up, then you would have to cut it into like a di diamond shape and okay. pour this coconut, um, shredded coconut and um, sugar over it. Oh, okay. And that's it. That's that's good to go. I'll, I'll show you a sample which I've done yesterday. Okay. Yeah, great. We have uh, Malaka saying hello. So, okay. So this is a sample. There you go. Oh, we oops, we've lost her again. <laughs> I'm starting to think that maybe she's dropping out because maybe her phone is on like uh, on sleep mode. I don't know, Paul, what do you think? I'm thinking it's got something to do with me. What else can I do except jump? Okay, I'll tell you later. <laughs> Uh, all right, so this, uh, right. Sorry, this is a sample of how it would look like, right? So if you see at the bottom here, you can see the banana in between. Oh, okay. okay, sure, sure. Right? right. So what, I'm surprised. I thought it would be all wobbly and, and, and so No, you know, yeah. no, it's not. And that is why you need you need to rest it and let it cool down for about an hour until it's totally yeah. cool. And then yeah. it's like that. It's it's very nice and firm, right? Okay. Okay, you, sure. you can you, you can put it in the fridge, and then what what you do is you just sprinkle coconut, uh, the grated coconut with sugar, over okay. it. Right, right, right. Okay. Oh, cool. And there you have what you call kutugal. Simple. Cool. Yeah. There you go. Uh, Mangli says, I oh, want to take a bite. And uh, Debbie says, it's beautiful. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Debbie Kyo, our MOMC Nyonya chef, says it's beautiful, Cynthia. Oh, thank and, you, Debbie. <laughs> Coming from you, uh, thank you. I know, right? Debbie is the queen of Kue. Uh, <laughs> Chow, hi from Auckland, New Zealand. And Mangli is saying that she wants to take a bite of it. And oh. Mala earlier. So, yeah, that looks easy enough. I think everyone it's can easy. Have it. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's really very easy to do. The 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 only thing that's the, the most tedious um from this whole dish is actually either it's grating the tapioca or blending it and you know straining it so that there's not uh, there's no more moisture in it because it has to be um not totally dry, but um you know we don't want all the starch uh, from the tapioca and a lot of the juices from the tapioca. Okay. You know, so that's the only strenuous part that you have to deal with when you are doing this. Aside from that, it's fantastic. And if you don't have this uh, butterfly, uh, blue pea, flower, telang thing, you can always just use blue um, colouring, you know. But I love the colour of the bunga telang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. me too. Um, yeah. So, so you can, for diabetics, instead of sugar, you can use monk fruits. That's a good idea, yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course you can, you know. Whichever uh, pleases you. I, I've not tried it with any other fruits before, but perhaps I will and make it, perhaps, uh, you know, make it a little bit fusion. <laughs> put, put some strawberries or, I don't know, kiwi fruit or mango. Who knows? I know, right? Yeah. Lydia is saying it's a simple dessert for tea and she remembers how her late grandma used to make it while they were growing up. There you go. Ah, uh, that's uh, nice. Yeah. Uh, Rowena says that looks really, really great. Uh, great job, Sid. Um, yeah, so there you go. And yeah. Lydia saying looks yummy. And yeah, thank you so much for this uh, quick and easy dish. It's, so, uh, it's, it's super quick, super easy, fantastic for tea time. Or if you have friends over for tea, 
uh, you know, for tea and everything. It's so simple to do. And then you can leave it in the fridge covered, you know, with some uh, cling wrap and it will hold. But just don't put the coconut um, uh, over it until it's ready to be served. Oh, is that right? Why is that? Yeah, because, you know, coconut, um, it tends to... Um, get bad really fast and then you do not want to uh, crystallize the sugar as well you know that makes sense yeah yeah so it doesn't yeah. go like crusty or anything like that in the fridge and with this um, sorry the the portugal it doesn't go crusty after a couple of days in the fridge is the, the texture is okay mm -hmm. the texture is all right as long as you um you know uh cover it up and not just let it be exposed in the fridge it's it's good this i, I made this <laughs> Hopefully she'll come back uh, soon to give us some last words about this. Uh, in the meantime, uh, Karen Hoon Santa Maria says, make sure you do this again when I come out of lockdown. Looks delicious. <laughs> okay, right. I, I'll just show you once it's cut again. See, it's, sure. it's, it's not that firm or not that wobbly. There you go. And it's nice and sticky, see? Okay, okay. Interesting. Yeah. So interesting. Never seen it before. Okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, Karen Hoon Santa Maria says for you to make it when uh, when lockdown is over. <laughs> yes, yeah, that, that, that's my um, cousins from Sraman and they, they usually come up and stay with me with the kids for uh, uh, nice. holidays. <laughs> uh, nice, very cool. Yeah. Uh, Man says it looks so yummy. I will eat it. Um, so, um, do you know the history behind this dish? Like, it's only the Portuguese Eurasians who make it. Is that right? I would think so. As far as I know, um, yeah, only the Portuguese um, uh, in Malacca or the Portuguese um, uh, descendants from uh, from Malacca does this. Um, but I have seen a few videos from uh, the Eurasians and Portuguese in Singapore. Uh, a family has done it and uh, it, it was their first time trying it and it looked uh, very interesting. And that's why I, I, I thought of giving it a try. In fact, this is my like, what, fourth, only fourth time doing this because oh, I'm, not okay. a, I, I'm not a queer person, right? And I don't like baking or making cakes. I'm more of cooking dishes and so forth. But I thought that this would be uh, easy enough uh, way to um, introduce to everyone. Okay. Yeah, very yeah. cool. Yeah, um, for those of you who miss out, we've got David Gregory from Australia in now we saying hello. So uh, good to see you, uh, David. But uh, what um, Cynthia did earlier was she used grated cassava, grated coconut, and uh, no, grated cassava or grated tapioca and just mix it with some coconut cream and some sugar. She used brown yes. sugar and then she split it into two halves, what colored one half of it with blue pea flour extract, but obviously it doesn't have to be that. And then just layered it and stuck some banana slices in between and steamed it for 20 to 30 minutes. And voila, that's your Portuguese quay. Oh, it's, uh, it's yes. actually Portugal itself, right? To indicate it's called Portugal. Portugal. That's right. I, I I was trying to research on where um, it got its name from and the history of this this quay, but um, I was unable to do the research because I I, I actually um, was quite intrigued to see to know the history of this. But perhaps I'll ask some of my relatives in uh, uh, the Portuguese at um if there is there is a history behind this. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure there is. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. All right, great. Well, thank you very much for this, Cynthia. Um, You're yeah, welcome. Don't, don't forget, if you want our recipes, sign up, all right, at malaysianchefs.com slash join today, and we will send you the recipes in your inbox when they're ready. Uh, thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. In half an hour, we have Paul and Liam who are going live from South Africa. They're going to be making a chicken bun mi sandwich, all right? You know those popular Vietnamese sandwiches, apparently, Liam has this secret ingredient that he thinks will just kind of like scale this particular version out of this world. So make sure you guys tune back in in half an hour. We will see you then. Uh, thanks again so much, Cynthia, and good to see You're you. You're welcome. And All right.
<laughs> so we look forward to your future cooking experiments with Portuguese dishes. And we'll see you uh, guys back uh, again in, uh, in half an hour. In the meantime, we will bump out with Tourism Malaysia. Thanks, Cynthia. I'll see you later. All right. Bye-bye. Ha ha ha!